is Alien Sunday and it's time for Series 12. And uh, yeah, this one's pretty cool. Ta da! It's once again Jeanette Goldstein as Jeanette Vasquez. BDUs, which I'm just assuming is a reference to just that costume there. So, here we go. I mean, <laughs> you know. We get two Vazgazes, this is cool. This one is still available. Well, actually, we've got three if you include the um, comic one. This one's, um, yeah, the second cheap. You can get a comic one quite cheap. But this one, they're already available. There's quite a few on eBay. Let's have a look. And um, so it's Series 12. And they're still giving us fucking paper sides. Ugh. But anyway, we sell that for the 30th anniversary of Aliens. Warning choke and hazard. Aliens, barcode, main China. Not for the breeze, had onions. 2020 Fox, 2017, Neko Real Toys, Randy Falk, and the awesome crew. Oh, we're going back to this one. Hmm. 103.27 at all. Yeah, that's Sculpt. And on the side isn't as great as the one for the last as guess we saw. So... Hmm, let's have a look at the back. Yeah, so here we go. That's cool. <laughs> it's like it's firing like a big load of foam. Um, this is obviously near the end when she's uh, about to go in the um, crate with Gorman and blow, us out, they blow themselves out with a grenade. This is the exact same write-up as it was from... This one. <laughs> but in this series as well, we have Ripley. Whose only real difference is the bomber, ja bomber jacket, which I do have, but those two, the battle damage ones, I don't. So let's have a look. Right. Handgun, which is cool, because it really does look like she's shooting the alien's teeth when she's in the vents. The really cool knife. That to this day is still amazing, M41A Pulse Rifle. Me and my buddy Adrian, we was playing on um, Halo ODST Flood Fight, I think it's called. And there was this level where it was all set in corridors. And we was like, my god, this would be perfect for aliens if we just put the Xenomorphs in it. And it would be. So come on, 343, get the aliens license. That's the foam muzzle, which you can see pops on the end of the gun. And no, they're not hiding anything apart from the bottom of the muzzle this time. Here we go, it's FaceTime. Mmm, better. Much, much better. Cool, cool bandana, I love the hair. Got to do the top down view, I nearly forgot, sorry guys. Ooh. It's really weird, that cellar tape is inside. It's what they used to keep the, the weapons in that in place. Yeah, paintwork, cool. Is that for a knife or a gun? That's for a gun, isn't it? I'm not too sure. How do I get out of this chicken shit out of it? Hmm. Yeah. It's not too bad. So let's compare it with this one. So, both celebrating the 30th anniversary. Uh, two different lines, of course, two different series. But not that one. And we got that one. I mean, yeah, this is very, very, very... Jeanette Goldstein. Yeah, might get rid of that or is it a scratch? It's gone. Yeah, that is a lot, lot, lot better than that because that just doesn't really look like her. And I mean, they're, of course, they are going to be all different anyway because uh, each one's slightly different because we're hand painted and so forth. But yeah, I mean, this is really, really cool. I do actually love it. <laughs> Let's put this one here as well. How often do you see the two Vazgazes? The crazy expensive one, and the one that's eh, so so affordable. Yeah, that's one we love. I mean, the outfit, the weapons, and it's pretty cool because she doesn't change her trousers between them. You can see there, her trousers has a lot of yellow to them, and there they don't. So, um, I mean, skin tone's the same, bandanas exactly the same, hair's the same. It's just the facial expression. It's just a shame that the face on that is a lot lot better than that one. Uh, obviously, I mean, there might people out there might obviously have better ones than me and uh, I love playing I loved using that in the game Aliens Clone Room especially when online work it wasn't the best but it was great especially hearing people from the um, film shouting out you know because they got so many people to do their voices but not Bill Paxton 
It was really weird because it was a Bill Paxton impersonator. And I've got to stop talking because <laughs> I'm doing this. Um, yeah. So that is um, Series 12, Private Jeanette Vasquez, BDU version. Which, all in all, is a definite better scope compared to the one where she's in a combat outfit.